Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Cursor Blade, a bullet hell action roguelike where the player is the cursor that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. It looks really up my alley, so I'm very excited to be checking it out. In we go. Pick a character. Cursor Blade or Stone Blade. More max heart, lower damage. I mean, sure. I will be the Cursor Blade. So we've got enemies. We got some familiar music here, by the way. <laughs> just right back into it. Some familiar music just to, you know, rip the bandit up. No, it's not stolen. It's licensed music. Uh, leave a fire trail that burns enemies. Chance to deal triple damage. Spawn an orbiting cactus that deals damage to enemies. Oh. I'm going to go for me- I- This is so satisfying already. Add two max HP. Longer invincibility after taking damage. Become- Invincible briefly every 10 seconds. What the hell? Or we can re-roll. Let's go for a re-roll. I want more damage or something. Reduce enemy projectile speed. Add three more re-rolls. Restores two hearts when you pick up a heart. I guess I'll reduce enemy projectile speed. Oh, okay. So that was like a passive. Now we got a weapon. Release a lightning bolt that jumps to nearby enemies. Drops a star to attack enemies. I'm going to go in more on this fire trail for now. I mean, right now, we don't have to deal with... Oh! I was going to say, we don't have to deal with any bullets, but these enemies can attack. We're just kind of in the early phase where nothing's that scary. Chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. Chance to do triple damage. Let's go for a sticky bomb. So we got to watch out for... Oh, interesting! All right. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there while they're all doing their thing. Woo! Okay, this is... This is legit. Like... Back it up, back it up, back it up. Go ham, go ham, go ham. What is this? <laughs> chance to inflict burn dealing damage over time. Even higher chance for a bomb. Chance for enemies to fire out quills on death. I mean, we already do this, but let's let's grab the, uh, the fire. Okay, let them do their thing and get out. All right, we need to be, like, a little bit more careful with our movement now. We can't be as... Wacky, which is a shame. Double damage briefly at the start of the wave. Okay. Now maybe I should. Okay. We do that double damage for a bit. Gotta work through. It is a weird thing to be like, oh my god, I'm the cursor and I'm moving through it. I gotta make sure that I'm not. Huh. It's, it is a different Different thing for sure. We're, we're ripping through these waves, though. I don't know if it's just my my play style of be a wacky man and get in there and go crazy with it, or what? Okay, get in there. Okay. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> it's funny that the music keeps on uh, going away. Okay, we do that extra damage for the early bit. Watch out for the wizard. Whoa. I can't hear any of the song. <laughs> I'm killing, killing everything too fast that we just keep on hearing the beginning part of the song. I don't know what the mushrooms do. Okay. Got hit by something. Back it up, back it up. Okay. Whoop. Get in there, get out. Oh, I got bit by the, uh, the tiny one. I mean, we can be patient is the thing, and it would be, like, in our best interest, obviously. But that also is not my jam. 10% more damage per missing heart. Reduce the max health for all enemies. I mean, sure. As far as, as an item goes, that's the closest thing we can get to just more damage. Okay, get out. What game do we play with this, uh, this song? I know that the, um... Like, the menu music and the store music is from, from, you know, not from, but is in Neophyte. This is in Shop-like is what it is. Oh, my God. I'm getting bodied. Okay. Rip through. I got hurt pretty bad there. Higher chance to inflict burn. I do like it. That man has a, a mustache. Get out. All right. All right. Ah, you son of a gun. 
The thing is, they're, when they're flashing from being hit, it looks pretty close to their flashing to attack me kind of phase, if you will. Cut. Chance to do triple damage. I'll, I'll grab that now. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. <sighs> Got a weird mix of enemies now. You actually have to, like... Oh, that was beautiful. It was beautiful. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Higher chance to do triple damage. Sure thing. Don't know what these mushrooms do. Got, like, an AoE burst. So many, uh, health pickups there. I guess we could just, like... Oh, we should have just gone ham and then picked up the health. Like, you know, cut first questions later. Alright, go, 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 go. Bye, nerd. Add three more rolls. Longer invincibility when taking damage. Invincible briefly every 10 seconds. Could be good and all, but... Spawn an orbiting shield that blocks incoming projectiles. I'm not as worried about that as I am about the melee. Create a toxic spore around you, dealing damage to any enemies within range. I just like to... I want to, you know... I can already tell you that I'm... I'm probably going to want to do another run after this, so, like... Trying to make sure we can have that run feel quite different. Oop. Blow up the big boy. All right. They charging up? Nope. Get out of here. Fire trail lasts longer. I see. I can't tell if any of them were prepping an attack there or not. Because they were just all die, you know, flashing from the fire. I think that that's less of an issue if you're not using fire trail. It's, that's going to be my educated guess. That we won't have that problem later. Higher chance to triple. Uh, look at the fire. I'm a fire build right now. Get through there. Okay. Rip, 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 rip. Rip you. Running out of rerolls, the last one I've got, but I, I like the thematic build angle. Get, okay, get everybody destroyed before we get in. Okay. Get the AoE explosion, man. Get the... Oh! Need to get the clouds out of the way, mostly. All right. When it's just slimes, you can just kind of go for it. A lot better than the others. Help, thank you. Alright. I'll go for the bubble shield. So, so do I have it? Oh, it's just showing me kind of what it what it looked like. Alright, let's wait for the bubble shield. How long does it last? Not as long as you would, you know, want, but long enough for it to be very good. Okay, just, so we just dodge for a bit, and then we can, yeah, we can go ham. It doesn't last very long, but it, it is good. Ooh, level 8 maximum? I'm gonna do that just to see if that does anything for us. Oh, the invincibility does not block the electricity. So it is not full invincibility. I hate, oh, I hate the Cloudman. Not full invincibility. No, I'm not done. I'm not done. I it's it's such a small little thing right now, but it is a demo, but oh my god, I really I love this concept. So we do less damage with the blade, we have more health. Let's see. Release a lightning bolt that jumps to nearby enemies. Sure. On swipe or is that just like here, is that just happening? Okay. It's on some chops. I will say I do like onion. Like, reducing everybody's health seems good. Shooting star. Gotcha. Oh my god, I really... You're not kidding on the do less damage front. I definitely like the, uh, the other character better here. Lightning bolts jump to more nearby enemies. Oh, that... Okay, I actually really like the idea of the fact that we can kind of go in and get some kills 
up there, even though we're attacking down here. I like that, I like that, I like that a lot. Shooting star, drop more stars on random enemies. Alright, alright. Watch out for that. Right now, it's it's definitely on the easy side, but I think that's okay. It's also a demo, and I don't know how much more, like, zones are going to be in the full thing. Okay, blast him. Deal damage to all enemies on taking damage. You know what? Sure. Not usually uh, that kind of guy, but... We have more health, let's use it. Oop. God, yeah, doing doing less damage, we need to convert our health into damage somehow, and I guess that's the way we can do it, I suppose. Shooting star, I'll go for the lightning. Oop. I wonder if there's gonna be like characters that have actives on like left mouse button or something. Or something like that. I mean it's still your mouse, right? Like you don't have to limit yourself to not using actives. Ooh. Okay, the stars seem pretty good. I that that was that was dumb. I'm getting greedy with it. I've been greedy with it. Okay. The mushrooms are rough. Whew. Double damage briefly at the start of the wave. I'm a. I mean. That's the thing that incentivizes for, for me to actually play the way I'm playing. Like, we actually get a benefit from it instead of just it being a stupid thing that I do because I'm... <laughs> I'm just that kind of guy. I just really like to go in, guns a Okay, that... This is our... This is our wave. That being said, it's a pretty easy... <laughs> it was an easy wave to begin with. Okay. Get wrecked. Maximum lightning bolt. Going all in, baby. Yeah, that's fine. So it does look like it can bounce a lot further now, which is nice. Three more dice rolls, two more max HP. Become invincible briefly every 10 seconds. I did I did kind of like it as as rough as it was. Chance for triple damage. That's like it's not um it's build agnostic, right? Okay, go in there when we had that shield. Wait, kind of waiting on the shield here. Because we, we don't need it. They're kind of just not doing anything. Bye, guys. Shooting star, more. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because it looks like when they get uh, split, they reset their cooldown a little bit. So our AoE is kind of off the charts. Good. Fight. Feels like there should maybe be a. Oh my God. You went crazy with it, man. Get him right away. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Blast him. Bye. Deal double damage briefly when taking damage. Oh, even more of a reason to be stupid and get in there in the middle now. Hit, hit me. I don't care. Okay, I don't really want to get hit twice, though. But like, we can, if we wanted to just speed run, we've kind of got the build for it. Go for it, baby! If we just get the uh, the heal twice on health pickup... Yeah, this is uh, even quicker. 4 minutes, 55 seconds. <laughs> Score 10! <laughs> Wait, 10... 10,300. High score, 10,310. What do, even does that? Okay. I know that we have kind of already done it already. It's such a small, it's such a small bite-sized thing here. Like, I can't express that enough. It's very tiny at the moment. But it is also a demo. But even for demo, demo standards, it's pretty small. We'll probably do one more run trying to see something else. But like, you can take this idea really, really far. Let's do 10% more damage per missing heart. Let's try and play it that way. Target, yeah, like I said, it's kind of... It's build agnostic in the sense that... Oh, man. Dummy. 
I'm gonna get this as ooh oh getting bopped by it there. We could just like see that's pretty cool. But you could just be like invincible to slimes. Not that slimes are that bad anyways, but like you could be. Quills deal more damage. Sure. I wonder if the uh, the poison upgrade is a bigger radius. Spawns an orbiting cactus that deals damage to enemies. We're going to go for a little bit of that. Yeah, seeing some of these that are more of like a um, an aura thing is actually... It fills me with even more excitement. A lot of the stuff we got early was pretty close to each other. Give me like a health thing. Recover all your hearts and it's not good enough for me. I want the other one. Hearts drop from enemies more frequent. Higher, yes, there we go. Bigger size. That's what I want over the other thing, for sure. Okay, when you said more frequent, I think you mean like crazy more frequent. Lol. Get wrecked. Whoop. Bomb, spawn another. Ooh, we just get a second one? All right. You are a prop. Ooh, flashing lights warning? I don't know. There's something about the way that that one's done that makes me a little bit concerned about it. Even though it's also static, you know? Even bigger area. Yeah, just going for like an aura build actually is so neat. Spawn another orbiting cactus. It actually seems like it's really good too. Oh, he went again? That man went again. Two hearts on pickup. So this is, um, per heart, per heart missing? If so, then just getting more hearts would be a good call. If it's percentage missing, that's a different story. That being said, we're even, like, we're going for health. Let's just chop it, chop away at everybody. If you get, yeah, if you went for invincibility and more hearts spawned, like, if you went for all of that, you could just go in and chop like mad, and you would be invincible in this current version of the game, in this, like, you know, going up to wave 20, which I imagine there's going to be more. Or it's going to get tougher in some way. But, oh my god, this concept is so fun. I do really like it. Quills deal even more damage. Get out for the mushrooms. The thing is, you you really benefit from getting in there and going crazy right away. You, re you really do. Especially when there's enemies that spawn bullets. Getting in before their attacks go off is really nice. Double damage briefly on taking damage. I'm ready, I'm ready. Go ham. See, like, right there? Kill like, I don't know, like five enemies or something before we even had anything to worry about. Go for the target. Yeah, the slime waves are just kind of like pure satisfaction. It's, it's just like a dopamine hit. It's kind of funny to even be talking like this, but, uh, our single target damage isn't good on, on this, which kind of makes sense. We kill things in the groups very, very quickly and easily. Because then we get the chain reactions of the porcupine spikes. Oops. I literally just went in the only wrong time. We just keep getting bigger area, which... I was hoping we'd get a couple bigger areas and then it would be like, um... Something else. I got more damage after that. Longer invincibility after taking damage does sound good. Because we could go in. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's get. Let's try and not care about taking damage at all. Just go for it and see what we end up with. This. That's my science. We end up okay. We do end up losing two HP. I would say that. That is. Definitely, you can't just go crazy with it. 
I mean, like, you could and you'd probably be fine if you, like, alternate between carrying a wave and then not carrying a wave. Boop, boop, boop. Man, I'm so sad that there, I'm so sad there's not more. That's the thing I, I will say. Like I love how quick and snappy and tight the game is. The issue it runs is the fact that it's been 20 minutes and we've completed three runs right now. With what I what I can tell was you know quite a bit of work from the dev. So it's like. How how much effort is it going to be to extend this out to a run length with an amount of content that is people are going to be super, super excited about replaying without making it hard for people to find a cohesive build? I think that, you know, a couple things is like having a tag type system. So when you pick a specific item, it's more likely that you see the upgrades for it as you continue to add more and more different styles of upgrades and, and things like that. I think... Obviously, you know, more levels, more types of enemies, things like that. All of that is going to be uh, certainly something just, but I love this core concept. Obviously, like the different characters, I don't know what that's going to mean. If it's just like adjustments of stats, it's like cool. But like seeing, you know, characters with an active ability, like left click to do blank thing. Like you have, maybe there's a character that has an invincibility and like as you hold down left click it slowly uses up invincibility you know so you could like get in there and do like kind of sneaky rogue like slashes or whatever uh and then like that meter kind of refills very slowly so you have like a little bit of an on on command invincibility would be a lot of fun just like there's so much space in this game that's the thing is i i'm really excited about this game and i there's barely anything here, like, as far as, like, how much in a run. You know, we have... I have seen all the content in 22 minutes. I've seen all of the content in the entire game already. Uh, but it's a demo, so seeing where they take it from here will be whether or not it is, you know, a super cool, like, must-have game or a game that I'd be like, dude, for a dollar, you should play Cursor Blade. It's a really fun concept, and I think you're going to have, like, a nice you know, a nice time with it. So I hope that it's the, uh, I hope it's the former because I would love to see this taken to the extreme. I love it so much. The, the idea, the execution is really clean and tight. I love it. Cursor Blade. Alas, alas, go check out the demo for yourself. Highly recommend you go play a, like a quick round or two of this for free for yourself because just the dopamine of swinging your cursor around to hit enemies feels really nice. Go check it out. Thank you for watching. Check the channel for roguelikes and more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.